Hello everyone, my name is Jiu Deze, and I am so delighted to participate in the celebration of the new Milford Public Library National Poetry Month. Today I'm going to recite a poem by my favorite poet writer of the name Wale Shoinka called Lost Poems. Wale Shoinka was frustrated by the fact that he tended to lose some of his scraps of poems that were still in the making, and so he decided to compensate himself by writing a poem to his lost poems. So the poem is titled Lost Poem as written by Wally Shoinka. I'll read from here. I think sometimes of poems I have lost. Maybe their loss it was that saved the word. Still, they do get lost. And I recall them only when the fragment levitates behind discarded invoices, the black ringed notice of a lost goodbye, a birth, a wedding invitation, and all the milestone of a lesser kind. The moment torments why. Beyond an instant's passion, dubious flash, satory in a bar, taxi or restaurant, an airport waiting lounge, the birds the scribble on a stained napkin. What cast of the ephemeral once resonates then spawns the mind the morning after? All that survives mimics a wrinkled pedal pressed between pages of long discarded books, a fallen leaf trapped briefly by the passing sun, it flashes a mere shirt of memory were filled with wistful accusations of abandonment. Too late, no life to eat, the book is closed. The moment exaltation or despair drowned in wine rivers shriveled in sons of great wars. I turn the scrapbooks of a moment's truth to cinders, their callings cause and smoke, once more fugitive beyond recall of who supports someone by the morning after. I think of voices I have lost and touches the fleeting brush of eyes that burrows deep within the heart of need. The pledge, unspoken, the more than act of fate, the forge an instant word and silent pact with strangers deeper, deeper bonds than the dearest love's embrace. Thank you for giving me this privilege. Stay safe out there and be well. Bye now.